First person's in the water. And we got Kevin Keith up there. This here's the tricks division. We got a toe hold, a reverse toe hold. Looks like we got a tumble turn, 360 to two. Another tumble turn, 360 to two. And that's all I can see, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna be working on that video for you right now. First pass for Kevin Keith, 350 points. That's a new PB for him. His original PB was zero. So he's off to a good start. G'day Peter, we got Peter Nags there watching from the live stream, we got Sherry, how you guys doing? Pete, it's a bit um, it's a bit early mate, or it's a bit late to be watching back in Oz. Glad to see you tuning in though. To everyone, everyone out there who is watching, um, you know, share the link, give it a, give it a post, tell your friends, tell your mum. Everyone here on site, um, you got family and stuff like that who's trying to watch from home. Tell them to get onto Facebook, Acros.tv, it's a page. Um, you can hop on World Barefoot Center, we're sharing the link. Um, and you can get online there and watch. I see uh, Zane Waters all the way up in Queensland there is watching. Zane, how you doing, mate? Kim Taylor, uh, yes, we will be showing video from the boat. We're just working on a signal right now. We're just gonna change out a few bits and we'll be ready to rock and roll. I got Jason Lee on the microphone to make a PSA for you guys. All right, listen up everybody, public service announcement. We are having a pizza party fundraiser to support the US Barefoot Water Ski Team tonight at 6.30 at Grove Roots. It's all you can eat pizza for $20. It goes to a good cause. We're going to send uh, the U.S. team to uh, to Worlds. I've got tick. I'm going to leave one bag of tickets up here at the uh, announcer stand, so you can come down here and get tickets if you want. It's twenty dollars in advance, twenty five at the door. So get your tickets in advance. You can get tickets right here at the announcer stand, or you can find a junior team member. They're going to be walking around selling uh, pizza fundraiser tickets. Okay. Thank you, Jason. Kim Taylor, how we doing? Good to see you tuning in, watching your buddies there for the South Central region. Judy Myers. Next on the vet, We miss your gorgeous smile out here. Next on the water is going to be Mindy Acri. With a total of 1550. Kevin Keith, total of 1550. That's a personal best. That's going to shoot him up there pretty high for the Masters men. That ties him with uh, a little bit ahead of Jimmy Torres there even. Jimmy Torres got a 15-10. Kevin Keith says he's been practicing a lot, he's got a lot of time on the water, so it looks like that's paid off for him. All right, Danny Baumgartner, how you doing, big fella? 
Tuning all the way in from Wisconsin. We got Mark, um, mate, I'm going to try and pronounce your last name here. Wallersverd, I'm sorry if I cocked that up. Waiting for Mindy to come on in. She's been, she's got a personal best of 50, which means she pretty much got a start. And she did that here at our southern region not too long ago. Mindy comes down quite often for our, uh, our women's week. She's popping out onto the uh, pass. All right. Come on, Mindy. Oh, she's just, there she goes, oh. outside the curl. Working to plant those feet. Yeah. Yeah, yeah baby. All right. She is up and skiing. All right. Good job, Mindy. Mark says she's pronounced his name right. Oh, good. So the way it works, folks, they're doing tricks right now. You got two passes, 15 seconds from the moment you do your first trick to do as much as you can. Every trick carries a separate points value. Um, and you do get points for standing up. So Mindy right there, she's got a personal best of 50 points, which is um, doing the deep water start. So she just matched her personal best of 50. Coming back, she's probably going to try and throw away or a sit down Working stand to plant up, something those like feet. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah baby! Yeah, right. Personal best. She is up and skiing. All right, Welcome good online job, there, uh, Aiden Finch. Mark says she's pronounced his name right. Oh, oh your old man, we said hello. So the way it works... So uh, we're running in uh, women's... Women's B tricks right now, going to Master Men's and Women's A tricks. Our next event after that, folks, we got five guys skiing in Veteran Men's and Super Veteran Men's. Um, after that, right around 10:30, we're going to be kicking off Open Slalom. We got six girls uh, in Open Woman, International Woman. These are some of the best slalom skiers in the world. For ladies, you got Ashley Stebbings, current Slalom World Champion. Lexi McCauley, current Slalom World Champion. Rachel Norman, with the potential to set a pending world record in senior women's slalom. So that's a huge event to watch. Probably kicking off in about, um, I'm going to say 11 o'clock. We're a little behind schedule, eh, Chris? Yeah, I believe so. Getting a little bit more texture on the water here. Kev Connell, how's it going, mate? Good to see you tuning in and watching. Hope you're doing well. Hello, Brett Sands. Looking forward to see you up there at work. Ah, oh, Sandsies tuning in. Sandsies tuning in. That probably means Pete and Cooper and watching as well with them. The uh, couple of the Australian guys have flown out a little early to the world's coming up in Canada here. They've been out in Austin, Texas. Doing some training on the Pertinalis and the Austin, uh, Lake Austin there. Here comes Mindy in for a second run. That's a, oh, tough ball coming out the front there. Ah, that boat's not slowing down. All right, she didn't get any points for that second run. Never established herself any barefoot skiing position. You can see that replay fall. That's a tough fall. But she's got to be real happy. Tough fall for her. All right, guys, so we are working to get our video signal from the uh, boat back up and running. We've got about 2 million cameras on site, about 5 million cables going around. Um, so chances were something was going to go wrong and it had to be the one in the boat. But we've got a big crew working on it. We've got a ton of guys here with Acros TV. 
um, plus the LOC guys, Brent Payne, Robbie Groen, um, and both of their armies. So we will be back up and running in no time at all. The beauty of it is, um, you know, Brent's done a great job here. He set cameras up all up and down the shoreline. Um, so even though we're not quite shooting from the boat, we're getting great coverage still um, of skiers as they go up and down the lake, which is huge. Oh, even better. So we've got a drone footage that's going to be going online soon as well. Um, so we'll be catching some overhead footage of the skiers as they're coming down the course, which is going to look really cool. That'll be awesome to see that. I can't wait to see that. Be interesting to how they how they fly here in this wind. All right, next on the water is going to be the lawyer, Mark Shank. Spends half his time in Austin, Texas, skiing on the Pernalis. And he spends his other time in Dallas. Mark Shank is a really nice guy. His personal best looks like it is 500. I am being told. Lauren, Lauren Healer says he's known as Shank Diggity, Shank the Tank. Oh, I'll let you say that. Shank the Crank. All right, folks, and here he is. Oh! Shank the Crank comes out the front door. Hopefully, uh, next run here. What's his other name? Shank Diggity. Maybe Shank Diggity will be coming Shank back Diggity the other way. <laughs> I, don't, I don't need to see any more of Shank the Crank. I, am being I don't want to see that. Lauren, Lauren Healer Jackson says Gerard Gerard so on that while, while we got the, uh, the boat tank. picking up Mark here for a second pass, folks, Oh, yeah, I got Eric Coyer here Shank with me. Crank. Eric was in one of the divisions this morning. All right, and folks, and uh, here he is. Oh! Early on. Eric, um, you're an Atlanta native, more or less. How was the water out there today? It was good. I got, luck I got lucky. I got to ski first a.m. It was nice. Nice, nice. You guys had pretty flat water, good conditions. What do you think of your passes? Uh, they were fair. I've been uh, frozen in time for 10 years, so I'm trying to make up for lost time, but I was respectable. Nice, nice. Well, we're happy to have you back, mate. Thanks for coming out. Tough ball, but it looked like he got a flyer out there, Ben. Good flyer, and it looked like he got BSP there. Who? Mark and Adam. This Facebook well, stuff's great. It looked like he got himself a he got himself a, a flyer to two, and then he went out the front door there. We're gonna get another replay of this out the front. Wow, nice ball. That looks yeah. like a triple Indy there. Yes, Sid, the, the conditions are doing what you say. They're getting a little more choppy. Well, we got a food truck going up, ladies and gentlemen. Right up my alley. Looks like my hat will fit right in there. You know, the, the great thing about this uh, Facebook thing here, Chris, is people start falling and the little ooh faces start <laughs> popping up off the side here. You got your little emojis going. No one's throwing any love down on... Uh, Shank the Cranks fall there. Just a whole lot of uh-oh faces. I think it's nice that we were able to replay that several times yeah. so we can see <laughs> yeah. it in, in slow motion at that. We got Gary Flint all the way from Kansas. He's tuning in. Gary, we miss you out here, mate. Gary's a great driver, part of the South Central region. Uh, he's been involved in the sport a lot of years. Who else we got tuned in? Jared Lapalgus is tuned in. Hello, Jared. Jared was a big part of last year's Nationals. Here oh. comes Mark, coming back now. Shank Diggity this time. Oh! Nice. We got a wave. We got a couple sit-downs and stand-ups. Oh, one-foot wave. Nice. All right. That's better. To, I like the Shank Diggity better than Shank the Crank. So we saw a little bit of each there, yeah. <laughs> Shank the Crank went down, and Shank Diggity pulled it back the other way. Mrs. St. Orangey is giving us lunch money as the baby eats the phone. 
Zyla, can you come here for a Zyla, second, please? Hello, Jared. Jared. was a big pot of last year's nationals. Did you have a little here up? comes you Mark, a coming back now. Shank Diggity this time. Oh! Nice. What did you have in your garage We got a wave. We got a couple sit-downs and stand-ups. Oh, one-foot wave. An alligator nice. in your garage. And All what right. Did do? That's better. That, I like the Shank Diggity <laughs> better than Shank the Crank. So he saw Not a little sure bit of each there, yeah. That, but, uh, Key St. An, she was uh, chasing out an alligator with a broom. Is that right, Zyla? Was it scary? Or was it okay? Zyla, was it was it a big alligator? It was. I see. Okay. Are you gonna be going? Are you gonna swim today? Okay. Three hundred and seventy points for a total score for Mark Shank there. So he's. Falling a little shy as PB, we got down as 500 points, Chris. Yep, he got a 500 PB there. Gerald Pelgus is uh, over there taking his daughter out practicing swivel skiing over there on Lake Silver as he's watching it. That is that is some multitasking for you right there. That is, that it, is. As long as as long as he's driving and watching the camera and not driving pulling pin yeah, and wonder, watching the camera, we'll be okay. Wonder who's pulling the pin. All right, next on the water, we're going to have Tina McCauley. Tina McCauley is our chief scorer right now. She's in the women B division. She's got a personal best of 550 points. Looks like she's up. One foot. One foot. Wave. Like a pretty tidy run there. on the water we're going to have tina mccauley tina mccauley is our chief we scorer are right now she's from in the women uh, b Brett division Bain. the foot's she's got, got a personal master. best of 550 we've got points. some technical difficulties like from the up. boat one we're foot. unable to bring you a uh, live coverage from here at the site but as you can see we're doing some pretty good coverage on the facebook live like a pretty tidy run there. now we're going to have beads coming in from the drone which will be unbelievable that's what we were just wondering. How is that drone going to fly with the wind? The little one, not so good. There's the big boy. He's hanging out. There you go. Hey, Brent, you want us to be able to see you guys? Ladies and gentlemen, while we're waiting for the second pass at Tina McCauley, please come up to the bar. The bar is open. Get yourself soda pop, adult beverages, and some water. All the guys whacking into this bar. We also got our uh, food truck that just showed up. Please go introduce yourself, Willis, grab some food. Hey, Willis. Hello, Brent Reynolds. Thank you for joining in. So update on the boat scenario, boat feed. Uh, we have a box that is custom made that has a bunch of wireless uh, stuff inside of it, and it's beaming about 1,500 to 2,000 feet to a device that's sitting on the end of the dock. Uh, these are all Konex systems, if you guys are familiar with all the technical stuff. And uh, the white box probably had an HDMI uh, cord or connection get disconnected inside that white box. So we got Robbie going down eventually when we get a, spot, a time. And he's going to go uh, dis disassemble the white box and check the connections inside of it, find out what's going on. But we are getting a feed from the box itself, but we're not connected to the camera. So something happened between the camera and the box on the boat. Tom Heaps. Hi, Heapsy. We sure miss you here, mate. Tina McCauley got a 350 on that first run. She gets up in backward skiing position. That's another 200 points. That there will tie her personal best. Now, if she does anything except for fall, she was going to beat her PB. But it looks like she's probably got herself about a 550, which is going to tie her personal best. Tom Heaps, we'd like to see 
Rick Moyes to join on there as well. Hope you're doing well, mate. Hope to see you up in Canada. Oh, no, she actually got 560. Breaks her personal best. Nice. Nice job. Tina McCauley, folks, give her a round of applause. Breaking a personal best at the national championships. No better time to do it than right here, right now. That's, that's huge to see um, at events like this. Paul uh, oh. Miller. Paul Miller, Paul Miller, Paul Miller, the uh, endurance scene. Paul Miller's a great uh, he, guy. He's up there in Indianapolis. I uh, sure he's miss been, you he, here, he's man. He's actually a guy that uh, Tina McCauley got a 350 Smith, on that uh, first run. She gets up in backward skiing position. That's skiing. another he's 200, 200 he's points. He's a little kid. He skis up on uh, that. There will tie yeah, her personal best. Now she does anything. He's up there in Indianapolis area. She was going to beat her PB, but it looks like she probably got herself about a 500. Thanks a lot. We got Brad Malberg watching. Brad, how you doing, mate? All the way up in Minnesota. Brad, um, Brad just bought a Sanger DX2. Um, drove down to Florida, picked it up. Used to belong to Mr. Pitzold, so he's all hooked up in Minnesota now um, with all the right toys. Skied with Brad and his kids this summer. Um, they're all a part of the Little Crow ski team up there in Minnesota. We got uh, Matthias Zielman is watching online. Matthias is all the way from Holland. Guten Morgen. Or Guten Abend, maybe. I'm not quite sure. That was probably... Oh, no, wait. What's Holland? Dutch is uh, Guten Morgen. Yeah, no, my Dutch ain't that good. Um, Matthias has been skiing for years and years and years. Um, I remember seeing him when he was a little kid. He was out in South Africa. He must have been about 10, 11 years old skiing on Andre's shoulders. Um, and he's stuck with it ever since. Next on the water, we're going to have Joe Knapp. Joe Knapp comes from Minnesota. Minnesota. Land of 10,000 lakes. Here he comes now into the course. Eyes on the water, folks. Joe Knapp, this guy right here, has skied every single national championships since the sport begun in USA. And there he is wearing the pride of USA, Team USA's barefoot wetsuit as he rips down the lake here. Couple of toe holds, couple of tumbles to one, and takes a spill there standing up. Bummer for Joe, but he has got a lot of tricks in store coming back, folks. Joe's like, uh, he's 62, I want to say. Anyone there confirm that for me? I don't know where Riley went. Um, Joe's in his late 50s, early 60s. Hell of a skier. Still does surface turns on his feet. And like I said, Land since 10, 1978, lakes. there he comes now Joe into the course. Every single barefoot Eyes nationals. on the water, folks. Joe Knapp, this and guy this right here, has year. skied every single national championship since the sport begun points in for, uh, USA. And there Joe he is Knapp wearing the pride of USA, Team USA's barefoot wetsuit as he pass. rips down the lake here. Have to make couple a of toe holds, couple of tumbles to one, and takes a spill there standing up. There you go. After Joe Knapp. We're going to have Jimmy Torres, and then we're going to wrap the uh, this crew up with Betsy Gilman. All right, we got Aiden Danik is tuning in. Aiden Danik hey, is a uh, past uh, U.S. elite team, U.S. senior team skier for world championships. Hell of a skier. Um... He was one of the big dogs. He could jump inverted, surface turns, tricked about seven, 8,000 points until he blew out both legs. 
He now got into a, uh, less, mo- a, a less contact sport. He's into uh, competition downhill mountain biking. Well, I can tell you right now, Chris, the, uh, the biking ain't <laughs> that, that safe on you either. Um, Aiden's probably a little better than I am, but, yeah, you can't trust those bicycles. Last time I talked to Aiden, I think he said he just went through another helmet. He cracked another helmet. <laughs> oh, Kevin Spade is online. Kevin, how we doing, bud? Kevin comes all the way from Illinois. He frequents down here in Florida often throughout the spring and the fall. Great guy. Skis up there with Kev Connell, Ken Reynolds. Ladies and gentlemen, we're working on that uh, video feed for you. They're going to be pulling in down at the dock after Joe's back pass, coming on back down in front of you here. They're going to pull on in, and we got uh, Robbie Groen's going to be working on that for us, try to get you the uh, get you some video feed in here. Peter Reisgard, hey, how we doing, mate? Good to see you tuning in. Alex Dresner is just tuned in all the way from Chicago. Alex, I hope you and Mitch are doing well out there, mate. Here comes Joe Knapp for his back pass. Looks like he did a hop. So one, one foot. One foot toe hold. Here he go goes. Buddy. Little, on, little oh, unstable. He's tracking right, outside right. the wake. Hands off. He's regaining. He's going to sit up for that back to front. Oh. oh. I'm sure we're going to get replay on that one, ladies and gentlemen. Doesn't quite stick the uh, back to front there, but. Man, I tell you what, 63 years young, Chris, still doing surface turns. How many more years have you got in you? At this current rate, not many. Any. I think I've got about four. I hope you and Mitch are doing well out there, mate. I'll cut that down to a, I, I got about a quarter of that, I bet. <laughs> Here comes Joe Knapp for his back pass. Looks like he did a hop. 1,000 points. So one, one foot. One foot toe hold for Here Joe he Knapp, goes. buddy. He's not going to be little, all that. A little happy. unstable. Oh, he's tracking right, outside the wake. Hands off. He's regathered. He's going to sit up for that score. back to front. And you know what? With these kind of conditions, oh. it's a little chippy. I'm um, sure we're going to get replay on that one, ladies and up gentlemen. Up against his competition here, Jimmy Torres. Jimmy's still going to have to give it everything he can to keep up with the 1,000 uh, points there. Yep. Jimmy Torres is up next. He's got a 15-10. But like you said, Ben, with these conditions, it's anybody's game. Yep. No, it, it sure is. We got uh, Andrew Martin just signed on to the live stream as well. Andrew, hope you're doing well, mate. Um, Andrew Martin, folks, was the mastermind. Um, did a huge part to play in the 2016 World Championships live stream, which was a hell of a show. Um, so, Andrew, we, we miss you out here, mate. Hope you're doing well out west. Amanda Kraling chimed on. Amanda, your, your hubby's going to be out on the jet ski in about uh, 30 minutes here, so stay tuned. He's going to look really good in that life jacket, too. Ladies and gentlemen, we're back online here on shore. We've got the live feed fixed. All right. We Thanks. are back in action, folks. Eyes on the screens. Our ship to shore is back up and running. Thank you, Brent. Thank you, Rob. Thank you, Mysterious Strangers, whoever fixed it for us. But we are back up and running. Matt Voss, how we doing, big fella? Voss the boss. Matt's part of a ski team up there in the Midwest. Well known for his barefoot circle endurance. We got Nate Comp watching online. Nate's part of the Atomic Footers crew. I'm sure the whole uh, Atomic Footers gang is going to be signing on later on to watch Derek's debut at Nationals. But eyes on the water right now, folks. Jumping off the dock. Coming into the course now. Jimmy Torres sets up for his first pass of tricks. Cuts outside the wake here. Gives a little shrug of the shoulders. Regrips that handle. One foot wave. One foot wave reverse. Toe hold. Nice and steady scheme from Jimmy here. Reverse toe hold. What's he going to do next, Chris? He goes down for a tumble to one. One foot, one foot. Sit down, stand up. Wave, wave, reverse. He's looking casual. He's happy. Solid skiing there from Jimmy Torres, folks. The guy is like 97 years old, (laughs) still skiing, kicking butt. Von L, how old is Jimmy? 64. 64. I was close. 
Now, Jimmy Torres, he'll be coming on in for this back run. When he comes in for the back run, I, he, he will do some turns in here. So when we were down in Texas, he was throwing some turns in there. It was looking pretty good. So, ladies and gentlemen, Jason Lee is with us. Tumbled. To one. Oh, never mind. Oh, there's actually no one seeing that anymore. Hey, just a follow-up announcement about the pizza party tickets. They are going fast. We only bought 60 of them, and I don't have any contingency plan to print more. There's $20 per ticket, 25 at the door. So if you do need a pizza fundraiser ticket, make sure you come get them. We still have some left here at the announcer stand. We have some left at the bar, and there may be a few left with the junior team. $20 for a ticket and $25 at the door. All right, 550 for Jimmy Torres here. The boat audio is back up on the thing. Jimmy Torres, 550. He'll be coming in for a backwards run. I know I've seen him do turns before. He will do it back to front on the end of his run here. Ladies and gentlemen, please come up to the announcer's table, talk to Ben Groen or myself, and buy a ticket. Please buy a ticket. The pizza is good and the beer is cold and good. Ooh we'll be going to Grove Roots and enjoying a wonderful micro brews. Hey guys, the pizza is not cheap, cheap hungry Howie's Pizza. We're getting it from Giovanni's. It's delicious. All right, Jimmy Torres coming in for second pass here, Chris. I'm going to let you call this one as Jimmy sits up for his back run. He's got himself in the back barefoot skiing position. That's 200 points. He should be doing some back toe holds here. There's one foot reverse. He's got a toe hold. Oh, get on out. Wow. All right. He's going to do his reverse back toe. After this, he should do it back to front here. We'll see if he can get it. Oh! Wow. That's a stacker. Wow. <laughs> Man, that is Rick not Moyes what you want to see. Oh, those are stars. Hi, Rick Moyes. Thank you for joining us, mate. How's that brick lane going? All right, Alain Legac. Tony Driscoll, Pat Hamill, how are you guys doing? 1360, that's going to be a good score going in for the uh, Masters men. That's going to be tough to beat, especially in these conditions. He's got to be happy about that. Yeah, yeah, that's, I mean, he scored a beat, was 1,000 there. He, he put it up to 1460, so looks like Jimmy's going to be walk away with the gold medal for Master Men's Tricks. These are all provisional scores, folks. They're unofficially, officially unofficial. So, um... Rick, dream, Rick Moyes is living the dream. There's a shock there. Yeah. Rick, Rick's so talented right now, he's got a phone in his left hand, a trowel in his right hand, and he's slapping down bricks, building a wall. Man, Jimmy Torres, Pat Hamill is watching for you. He's cheering for you. you got the Austin, Texas crew online cheering him on. This is the great thing about this um, live stream we're doing today, folks. Again, once again, Share it, put it out there. We're trying to build the sport. We're trying to get it out there. Um, this is like one of the greatest live stream shows we've done yet. Oh, Huge God. spectatorship. What a fall. That was incredible. Ben, ben we got to bring your attention. We got the, the Minnesota queen herself, Betsy Gilman. Wow, Betsy Cobb Gilman. Newly elected president again. America. This is your president, <laughs> Betsy Anderson Gilman, president for the ABC, done a huge part um, as an outsider looking in. Betsy's done a ton of stuff for the sport the last few years for barefoot water skiing. Uh, I've got this patch program up and running, changed these performance divisions. And it's just great to see the, uh, the positive influence some of these changes have made on the sport. So here she comes in now, folks. Eyes on the water. Betsy Gilman cuts outside the wake, getting ready to do her toe up. Golly, that is a good looking suit. Grabs her leg, she comes on up. Oh, sits back down and loses the handle. Oh. 
It's the right away from Betsy. Shh. Give her a hand, folks. Bet Doesn't sound like Betsy's got any fans here. Yeah. Yeah, she may have she may be disappointed with that toe up, folks, but I think just about every person on site um, is a huge Betsy fan. Like I said, she does a ton for the sport. Always puts the sport before herself, which is a huge ask. Come on, Betsy. Come on, Betsy. Give her a hand, folks. Here she goes. Brent Akros, you're needed at the announcer station, please. All right, Kev, thanks for tuning in, buddy. Hopefully we can see you again later on. Hey, man. Um, If we narrated what's on there, that's immediate. That's what I wanted to do with Jamie, but I don't know if that's possible. I think that's a great idea. Yeah. All right, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> then, we, then we know what we can talk about. Kyle Swede, Ryan Boyd, two ex-big dogs um, from the scene themselves. Kyle's all the way from Michigan. Kyle and Laura and their dad, Chris, used to all ski. Big time barefooters back in the day. Uh, Ryan Boyd, he's only just up the road. I'm sure he's watching in his car as he's driving down here. Although I, I gotta say, folks, the live stream—it's almost—it's almost better to watch it on the stream right now than live. This show is like awesome. These guys have got like five or six cameras set up. They're switching back and forth between them. It's just—it's really cool to see such a production. A huge part of that's all thanks to um, Brent and Flynn.com and what they've done with this. But here we go, folks, coming in for a second pass now. Betsy Gilman sets up for a back deep, cuts outside the wake. She's probably gonna load into line step position. So here she goes. Gets that handle down in between the legs. Pulls it in. She's going to need to get going. She's running out of lake. Here she goes. Sets up for a one foot. One foot reverse. Little hesitant on the one foot reverse. As she unloads, she's going to go for a back toe hold. And the boat shuts her down there. So she's going to get about 600 points on that second pass. So she's not going to be superbly happy with that, folks. But that will wrap up the uh, tricks division for group three and four. Once again, folks, Keith, Kevin Keith, Mindy Cree, Mark Shank, Tina McCauley, Joe Knapp, Jimmy Torres, Betsy Gilman. Give them a round of applause as we move forward to events five and six. Those of you that are watching on the stream, we're going to men's, uh, super veteran men's and veteran men's tricks. We got five guys skiing in the event. First up will be Al Hager. Second will be Don Simon. Third, Sharon Carlson and veteran women's. And fifth or fourth will be Mike Briscoe. I just can't count.
All right, folks, so those of you watching, stay tuned. We'll be back shortly uh, with some more action. We're just doing a quick boat change. Um, we'll be chucking out the judges and the driver. Putting in some fresh guys. Um, the scheduled start time was 9.55. We're going to be starting at probably 10.55 or 10.25. So we're about 30 minutes behind time on the schedule. Um, Ann Miller, I see you on the live stream there. Um, KSO, myself, after Super Veteran Men's, we are going to be moving on to open skiing. So we'll have all the open skiing going on then. Um, so, sorry, Ann Miller, if you're listening there. Um, after this event, we're going to be moving on to... Slalom for open. Roughly 10.55, you're going to have six women skiing. Alex Youngblood, Rachel Norman, and Ashley. Final day of the month, we're talking some relatively cool falling temperatures, but mostly clear sky. There's a slight chance of a light morning shower, but I think we'll be basically dry. Highs in the middle 60s, and 66, 60 cag out running. Ben, you and I have uh, been given a task. It's going to be a it's a big task, and we we're going to have to be on our toes for it. Uh oh. We have one legend, a true legend, in our presence, ladies and gentlemen. He is currently the oldest barefoot water skier in the world. Our Southern Regions tournament is af named after this gentleman, and that individual is going to be Jim Boyette. Now, Jim Boyette is in presence with us. He is a great man. If you do not know Jim Boyette, you need to come up here and introduce yourself to him and get to know him. A wonderful man with a lengthy history. Professional baseball player. Military member, captain in the Navy. And just an all-around great guy. Jim Boyette's actually going to be skiing with us today. He'll do a boot run. Hey guys, John Travis here at Sunset Lakes. We got some drone racers coming out today to have fun with us. Don't know if I'm scared, nervous. I have no idea what's gonna happen. They're really fast. This thing goes like 130 miles an hour. Just having a good time. I mean, look at this flat water. Gorgeous day. These crazy ass drones. Like you're just doing a bunch of tricks, and I saw it drop right near a buoy. <laughs> Pretty easy. I just know that it's something that people outside the sport want to see. Ladies and gentlemen, we're standing here looking at Jimmy Torres after that fall. We're getting an injury report. We've got a bit tongue. His back is hurting. He's got a positive O face. Oh my God, I hurt. Our crews are rigging the Bumblebee boat up. More folks are tuning in. Um, I also got to say, guys, 
if we do disappear and go offline, usually um, the streams run for about an hour or so. We have to repost them. If we do disappear from online, just uh, close the video box, reload the Acros TV page, a new live stream will be up, and you can jump back on that one and keep watching. It doesn't happen often. It's a bit of a pain, I know. Um, but just a heads up on that. Uh, real quick, Don Stope, if you can hear me. Don Stope. You are needed in the boat for judging. Don Stope. Jorge has joined us. Bienvenidos, Jorge. So yeah, once more, folks, I see more people hopping on. We're just... I, I just did. Um, as more of you hop on, if the live stream shuts down, which it likely will around the one hour, one and a half hour mark, don't worry. Um, just close the video, reload the Facebook page, um, and then click on the new link. You'll be back up and running, no worries at all. It just every now and then we're going to reload a new page. I don't, you know, I don't know why. Um, talk to Zuckerberg, send him a message, tell him you're not happy. That's that's the best we can do. One more announcement for officials on site. Officials, if you do not have your Monopoly money yet for lunch, please come and see me. I have Lauren's toy money for everybody. Every official gets three of these dollar jaru. I don't know what they are. Three dollar dollars. You lose them, you lose. Ladies and gentlemen, it looks like the, uh, the taco truck has showed up. Taco Mazalan. They've got barbacoa, they got carne asada. If you don't know what that is, don't worry about it. It's good, just go eat it. Don Stope, you are needed. Oh, we have Don Stope. Talk to... So, ladies and gentlemen, why don't you pull up to that taco truck, get yourself some food, enjoy a good Mexican meal, come on up and get your a, a cold adult beverage or a pop or a soda, depends how you want to call it, and get ready to enjoy the next round of skiing. Rachel Norman is in presence. Hello, Rachel. It's good to see you. Senior team member. For the USA, good to have you. All right, guys, as we sit tight here, we're loading up our boats, we're ready to rock and roll again. We want to take a quick second once again to thank our sponsors, the uh, title sponsor of the event, footin.com. Um, they are the brains behind Acros TV and this awesome live stream we're going here. The Nationals is presented by visitcentralflorida.org. A uh, huge foundation here in Central Florida, obviously. They do a bunch of stuff for tourism, sporting events, things like that. Thank you guys for the support. Obviously, we've also got uh, Just Add Water Media, Action Water Sports, located directly across the lake from us, uh, WBC World Barefoot Center, world's greatest ski school for barefoot water skiing on the planet. That is a fact. 
Um, we got Wheelhouse Design. Uh, that's Jay McCarthy. Guy is an absolute legend. Does a bunch of stuff. Um, both us, the ski school, everything else. We can't. Mark Wilson tuning in from Tennessee. Mark, how you doing, mate? Good to see you watching. Barry Thompson all the way from Canada up there in Niagara Falls. Ski with Barry uh, last year. They have an awesome site. It's an undisclosed location. It's top secret. I won't tell you any more than that, but it kicks butt. Matt Mikowski, good friend of yours, Chris. Oh, yeah, it's good to see Matt. Wish he was here. No, he's been nursing some injuries. But I uh, hope to see him up at Worlds or run into him here shortly. Good guy. Miss him here, having him here, that's for sure. Well, it looks like we got our, uh, our situation taken care of in the boat. Looks like all the players are in. We're going to make a leveling pass, and then we're going to get going here in the tricks division for, oh, the, 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 the older people. The mature folk. That, that, that's the mature. Collecting Social Security. So one more time, folks, for those of you watching, we're about to kick off Super Veteran Men, Veteran Men's, Veteran Women's. We got four skiers in the event. Then we're going to move straight on into Open Women's. Open Women's Slalom, we got six skiers going. They're going to probably kick things off right around 11 o'clock. Um, for those of you playing at home. And then after that, we're going into international and open pro men's slalom. Uh, that'll be starting right around 11.30. Um, so you've got about an hour before the pro men's. You've got about half an hour before the open women's kicks off for their slalom. Some big names lined up in there. You've got some uh, world champion status there. Lexi McCauley. Rachel Norman, Ashley Stebbings, all gold medalists um, in open and junior events. You've got into the pro men's. You've got guys out there, legends like Willie Farrell. You've got Jason Lee, past world champion. Keith St. Ange, current world champion. David Small, never been a slalom world champion. Um, and then young guys that are up in the open pro events. You've got kids like Bryce Storman. Guy's 14 years old, puts up a seed score of 16, and uh, a couple weeks ago he just slalom 16.8 at the Midwest Regionals, which is huge. So, a lot of fun skiing to watch coming up. This will be a great thing for the drone, hopefully to be up in the air watching. And we will be kicking things off very shortly. Boat's just gone down the run for a leveling pass, guys. As you can see there on the dock, we've got a great tower down there set up. A um, little tent there for the skiers to hang out in the shade. It is Florida. It is August. It is hot. Oh, wait, hang on. It's July. Sorry, it's it's August in New Zealand. I'm a bit off of my seasons. All right, guys, real quick, all of you on site. Quick public service announcement one more time. I got world champion Lexi McCauley on the microphone to make an announcement for you. Hi, so Worlds is coming up uh, next month, and we're trying to get we're trying to fundraise for our for uh, the U the U.S. team, and we're having a pizza party tonight. And if you want to buy a ticket, find me. They're twenty dollars. Yeah, support your country. There you go, folks. Twenty dollars if you buy a ticket now. Twenty-five dollars at the door. Save five dollars today. Come find Jason, Lexi, Riley, anybody with a bag and pizza hey. tickets. He'll point you in the right direction. Did Did you guys uh, talk to Swampy yet? I mean, has he bought his ticket yet? I think he he needs two. I'm sure he'll need two. Ash, do you think that Swamp should need two tickets for the, uh, yep. Bob Swambaum, thank you for joining us. Good John Fisher. John Fisher's a show skier, folks, all the way from South Dakota. If it's the same John Fisher, yep.
Ben's handing out money while you're in there. Yeah. I'm all tapped out. <laughs> <laughs> the, re all right. the rest of it's just that Monopoly money. <laughs> just makes me look good. The leveling pass is done. Looks like everybody's in attendance. My eyes do not deceive me. It looks like that could be Al Hager down there. He's got that shiny, shiny dome. Al is a music teacher um, down in South Florida. Really cool guy. Um, guys on site, if you see Al, all those cool little wooden feet that you see people on their key rings. Um, all those little wooden key rings and things that are wandering around the site glued on people's phones, those all come from Alley. Hand makes every single one of them himself, uh, which is really, really cool. If you go by and drop in to see him, he'll definitely uh, be able to set you up with something awesome. What's going on, man? <laughs> all made out of teak. What? Danny Baumgartner. Oh, wow. This is the power of the live wow. stream, folks. Danny was sitting in his lounge in Wisconsin. He gets on Facebook. He sees a live stream. He's like, dude, I have got to get there. Ten minutes later, he's here. Be me up, Scotty. <laughs> Lexi McCauley saying that her pocket is very light. Buy more tickets. Swampy Bouchard, you need to be down here buying some tickets. I don't know where she is. Danny Dano. Amir watching. Dano the Mano, the Golden Mike himself, is tuning in to watch. Dano, we wish you were here, man. We need your smooth, velvet voice on this microphone. Speaking of somebody smooth on the microphone, where's the velvet voice? I don't know. I'm hoping he tunes in later on, Mr. Uh, Mr. Caruso himself. The man with the voice. That's right.